By using this pie slice and the pie values within the presenter functions, it will allow us to create a pie chart that will allow us to adjust each individual pie slice and have numbers follow it or adjust to that percentage. So to begin, I'm going to start with a group here. I'm going to drag a group into the scene tree. I'm going to rename this group to pie. I'm going to slide another group as a subcontainer of this. I'm going to call this one pie values. Now we want to use a cylinder to make this pie chart. So I'm going to go back into my primitives and I'm going to drag a cylinder as a subcontainer of the pie values. I'm going to rename my cylinder to slice one. I'm going to go into my cylinder editor and I want to set my center point either to top or bottom. I'm going to set it to top and I only do that so that when I adjust the height, I know exactly where I'm adjusting it from top or the bottom and it doesn't grow out from the center. To see our pie slice a little bit better, I'm going to drag a material on it as well. Now I'm going to go back into my built-ins, into my functions tab, into the presenter folder. I'm going to slide my pie values function onto my pie values container and my pie slice function onto my slice one container. And you can see when I do that, that the cylinder disappears and it also hides it here on this container. So if I come back into my pie values editor and I increase my value zero, you can see that it increases this cylinder. So I'm just going to leave it cracked a little bit at the moment. Now I also want to add some text so that our percentages or numbers automatically adjust to this value. So I'm going to go back into my server, into my fonts, grab a font and slide it as a subcontainer of this slice one. I'm going to rename this font container to numbers. And I also want to add a title. So I'm going to add another font and make this a subcontainer of my numbers as well. And I'm going to rename this to title one. I'm actually going to go into my text editor and add title one text in there as well. And I'll just go into my transformation editor, adjust the Y position down a little bit so that we can see it. Now, as you can see, our font is facing us and our cylinder is actually not facing us the way we want it to be at the moment. So what I'm going to do is rotate our cylinder here 90 degrees so that we see the top of it. But when we do that, our font disappears because it is a subcontainer of this. And when we rotated it, it adjusted the font too. So now I need to readjust my font. So I'm going to make this negative 90. Now everything is facing us. So now I'm going to go into my pie slice. And here under the control text values, I want to change the default setting of no to float. And once I do that, it changes that numbers to an actual number. And this number now correlates to this value zero. So as I increase my value zero here, you can see how it increases this number. And at this point, we may need to go back into our pie slice and we can use this text offset to adjust our text wherever we want it to be. If we went into our numbers and into the transformation editor and tried to reposition it on the X or the Z, it will not allow us because it's tied to this pie slice. However, if we do need to scale it down, we can still use the scale function here to scale down our numbers and title. So now once I have this basic functionality set up, I'm going to come back up to my slice one and I'm going to copy this several times. I'm going to hold down control, click and drag, and I want to make five copies in total. So I have copied it five times and I'm going to come in and rename each one. This is slice two. I'm going to hit the down arrow, go into my next container, call it slice three, hit the down arrow, make this one slice four. And this one is slice five. Now that I have five containers, I also want to differentiate each container by using a different material. So I'm just going to slide a different material onto each one of these containers. And we'll just make this last one here yellow or say. So now that I go back into my pie values, as I adjust each one of these, you can see which container and which pie slice it is adjusting. If you need to go back and make any type of changes to this, you go into your pie slice and some of our text parameters here aren't quite lined up. So this is when we need to go back into the text offset and make some adjustments. So for each one of these, we're just going to adjust this out a little bit. Now, if I needed to make any other type of design changes, I could. So if I wanted to rotate this a little bit on the pi values, we'll rotate this a little bit just so we can see the 3D depth of our cylinder. We can scale this up a little bit. If I needed to swap out any type of colors, I could do that in here. Or if we wanted to add an image into each one of these cylinders, we could add 
a texture just to give it a little bit of different look. Also, if you wanted to extrude your fonts or something or make any type of changes to that, you can drag an extrude down onto your font. And as you rotate, you can see how it extrudes the font as well. Now, we would also want to set this up so that someone can control this in the control room using Trio or Content Pilot. So if we go into our control folder here, we also have a control pi function. So I can take this control pi function and drag this down onto the pi values container. Notice when we do that, it automatically adds this object control to the topmost container. So I go into the control pi values here and we can give it a field identifier of one or zero one. We can give it any type of description name we want. And here we can say first slice field ID is zero. Our first pi value slice here was value zero. So we're gonna leave that. And our last one here is value four. So I'm gonna go into my control pi and say our last slice field ID is four. I'll just make that adjustment right there. If we needed to be able to change each title on each one of these, what we would want to do is add our control text onto the title. Now this would be our second control object. So I'm gonna add zero two on that one. And it would be the same for each one of these. So as we add these control text to each one of these titles, we'd want to be able to change the field identifier. So now once you hit save, you take this into Trio, what the Trio operator will have is actual controls for each one of these. So here I am in Trio, I'm gonna import my pie scene. So here's my pie chart. I'm gonna slide this over and import it into Trio here. And when I double click on the scene, what we have are our pi values. So I can click on my first one or highlight it. And as I adjust it here, you can see that it adjusts this value and it also adjusts the variable or the percentage as we go with it. We come down to the next slice. We can set however much we want within the percentage for this one as well and down to the next one. Now we did add a control text for one of these so we can change this title to whatever we want and we can make changes within each of these. So the template that we set up in Artist provided us with this ability to change each one of these variables within this pie chart.